For this project you will need a 100% cotton t-shirt, freezer paper, a design, tape, a craft knife, a cutting board, chlorine bleach, a fine spray bottle, an iron, and paper towels. For this tutorial, I'll be using a simple star design that's about 8 inches tall. Once you have a design printed out, you're ready to make your stencil. To make the stencil, you'll need the printout of your design, a craft knife, tape, and freezer paper. Cut a piece of freezer paper big enough to cover your design. The freezer paper has a waxy side and a paper side. Put your design on the waxy side of the freezer paper and tape the edges down. This will keep the design in place as you cut out the stencil. For more complex designs, it is better to trace the design onto the freezer paper or print directly onto it. But for simple designs, you can cut along the lines you can see through the paper. We only want the dark sections of the design to be bleached, so the middle star needs to be adhered to the shirt too. But because it isn't connected to the main stencil, it's called an island piece. Mark the dark sections with an X and the light sections with a check mark to remind yourself. Carefully cut out the design starting from the innermost section and work your way out. Discard the dark sections of the design and put aside the island pieces for later. When you are done cutting the design out, take off the printout from the back of the freezer paper and discard it. Now the design is ready to be adhered to the shirt. These are the materials that you will need for this section. Your shirt, a piece of cardboard big enough to slip into your shirt, your stencil, newspaper, an iron, a fine spray bottle, and paper towels. Lay the shirt out on the ground and slip the cardboard into the shirt. This is to make sure no bleach bleeds through to the other side. Iron the front of the shirt to remove any creases before putting the stencil on. Turn the steam setting off on your iron. Lay the main stencil on the shirt with the waxy side down and align it. This design needs to be aligned in the center of the shirt and placed slightly below the collar. Now use the iron to adhere the stencil to the shirt. The heat will melt the wax slightly and make it stick. Make sure the design stays center and lays flat when ironing. Place pieces of the newspaper under the edges of the stencil to cover the rest of the shirt and then iron over everything again so there aren't any loose spots. Now it's time to iron on the island piece. Place the island on the shirt and line it up inside the star. Iron down the island gradually while keeping it in line with the design. To prepare the bleach solution, mix equal parts chlorine bleach and water into a fine spray bottle. Test the spray on a towel or in a sink until the spray is fine and consistent. Warning: Be careful and do not get bleach on your clothes. Spray a light, even layer of bleach over the design area, and immediately dab the bleached area with a paper towel. The shirt should start to change color immediately. Wait a moment and spray any areas that haven't brightened and dab again with the towel. Repeat until the design is bright enough. Dry up any excess bleach on the stencil and newspaper and carefully take off the stencil. You should see a striking contrast between the bleached areas and the rest of the shirt. Run cold water over the bleached area to stop the bleaching reaction. Throw the shirt in the dryer and you're done. 